Hello everyone, and welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the Asuma. I uh, hope everything is set up and good, because I have rushed back to the computer, popped straight on. I couldn't even remember where I logged out. <laughs> we're in our storage area. Lady Cappy, thank you for the banana in chat, letting us know that we're live. Very kind of you to do that. Let's uh, get into it. So there's something that I want to do today that's going to require a little bit of prep work. Hot Melty Cheese says it's Peter. Who's Peter? Hot Melty Cheese is also resubscribing. Thank you so much. Lightly Lucid here for 16 months with the Prime. Thank you, thank you. Ha, ah, this is what it, this is the most important thing ever right now. Seeds. Oh, thank goodness I got so many of them. Yeah, believe it or not, I need these. There's a reason I've been steadily accumulating a bunch of them. Hey, it's Jenna really here for four months. It's my B-Day. What a great day. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'll tell you now, it's not my birthday. But it's someone's birthday. Apparently yours. Aha, we got all the seeds. All the seeds. All the seeds. Do you know what I'm going to do with these seeds? I'm going to throw them. Not away. <laughs> Gonna throw them in a very purposeful direction. Alright, that, that's all of it. That's good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Filled up a whole box. Well, I'll, uh, I'm gonna throw the rest away. <laughs> Speaking of not throwing it away. Welcome to the peeps. Tuning in. Just watching your vid right now. Ah, oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I um, I decided to put out my episode of Hermitcraft today just because it's likely I'll be making a pre-release video tomorrow if they put out another one. Oh yeah, there's more seeds over here as well. No shortage of seeds. Bill Steven is here for 27 months of the Prime. Thank you, my dude. Uh, stream while cooking dinner. Don't mind if I do. Rooted Shop looks great, by the way. Yeah, I read some of the feedback uh, in my comments and yeah, really, really positive stuff. Happy to see it. Happy to see it. I'm going to need a boat as well. I was actually able to record my very own finger action, says Villainity. As soon as new episode. Yeah, I knew, I knew as soon as I said that, I was like, oh, that doesn't sound, that sound too great, does it? <laughs> Me and words. Whenever I edit my videos, I'm always listening back and being like, you could have said that better. You could have articulated yourself better there. I'm always trying to do better, but... Uh, Dang. The way I talk. <laughs> I love how the shop looks. I was thinking the banners blend in with the shop too much. Maybe a more contrasting color. That's a good That's a good point, actually. I, I kind of felt that too without really uh, vocalizing it or thinking about it, you know, like subconsciously, maybe. Yeah, this is, this is pretty much... This is pretty much what we want. Maybe just some dirt blocks for like junk blocks, you know, if that makes any sense. Oh, dude, there's only camera accounts online. That's why no one's sleeping. Just the cameras online today and me. You should check Hermit Horns made by Cub. He released an episode today. At you mean to say you're just assuming I haven't already checked it out and spent ages over there listening to all the different ho- You're just gonna say that as if I haven't. Oh, the cheek. The cheek. Assuming that I haven't. My goodness me. Oh, I can barely believe it. I feel like I've been insulted. Yeah, I was hanging out with Cub and uh, Scar over there checking out all the different samples. Have been added. They're uh, they're hilarious. They're brilliant. Let's go over here. Well, then he says, "Where do us viewers get it from? What's it?" Yeesh. Context, people. Context. You got your HCTCG booster boxes today with four new cards. Oh, awesome! Is that like a present or something? Because those went out a while ago. I'm assuming it's not like a new round or anything. Right, last time we were here, I managed to make a meal of this, so uh, let's do let's do better this time, All right? Just do better. I think there's probably already minecarts in this system. 
Yeah, there's plenty of minecarts. Cool. Right, I need to get two villagers out here today. So when I plop that, I just need to immediately, immediately I say, do that. Yep. So that's easy. That bit's easy. This next bit is a bit of a gamble every time. Because you just got to go, 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 go. And then the boat sinks and then it's like, ah, you're going up the waterfall. Come on, stop him. Stop him. Yes. Yes. Victory for X. No, not victory. Get, get away from here. Get, place the boat. Place the boat. Why are we not placing the boat? Why? Oh, go, go, get in. You're literally in. Yes, yes, you're in. Oh, what's going on now? Some herky-jerky. Right. I don't know if it's a smart idea to leave you out there. Like, will a drowned come after you or something silly? Let's find out. Because uh, I want to get two of these today. What could go wrong? Whoops. That, that could go wrong. I'm ready. Move. Done it. Okay, second success. Quick victory. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, no, no, come this way. Come that way. Ah. Ah. Go, 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 go. Come on. Yes. No. You. Dang it. Villagers be awkward. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're so awkward. Ah. Uh. Right, now just just please put the boat. I don't want to block. Oh, we got it. We got it. See, it can be easy, right? It can be easy. Can be easy. You just got to push your luck a little bit. Let's now leave the area. Since no one else is... Oh, Corrales is now online. Typical. It's like bad's going to happen now. I know it. I was thinking, no one else is online. It'll be unloaded. Easiest villager wrangling I've seen, says the Sophrona. My past wrangling experiences, I think one went as smooth as... One went as smooth as that. And about the other seven or eight attempts did not. Does anyone know why they're going through the annoying villager nerfs? Whether they're going through them? I don't think those villager nerfs are annoying. I think they're um, really good. I think they've thought through some decent ideas on how to, you know, like, you know, they're nerfing the villagers, right? The villagers are ridiculously OP. They've been unbalanced and should never have been put in the way they were put in. Oh, hello. I'm going to risk it like a biscuit. You ready? Oh, we good. We good. We good. Hypno got a new bridge. Yeah, I think that I think they're making great decisions. I really do think getting rid of stuff like raid farms and sorting out the uh, oh cops join too, sorting out the um, villager trades is important for this game. Kip the king, thank you so much for your prime subscription. It is appreciate. Let's use uh, this space over here this time, right? I'm seeing a clear rail thing. Yeah. So what we got to do is get you onto it, obviously. Obviously. Come on now. I need like a I need like a half block here too. Actually, this is this is going to get messy if I don't do this right. I think Yeah, this... Okay, I need to, like, do that as well, I think. Otherwise, it might get a bit awkward, a bit messy. Right, we need a half slab. And we need a composter. And we need to race against the clock. The music says so. It's any, any type of half slab will do, won't it? So like, put that there. I've got, a, I've got a weird feeling that might actually cause more headaches. Put it there. Right, we've got to get you in here. 
and I'm feeling lucky, punk. I'm feeling lucky. Today's my day. Woo! It is my day today. It is. Um. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe for the first little bit, I can just bump you up here. Well, this is painless. Are you going to see that as well? We got Toby Love Cats here with the cheers and buddies saying, Hey X, I'm doing some fan art and I wanted to know if there are any things you like seeing or don't like seeing in fan art. I, I, I would say just uh, do your thing, man. I've got my own tastes and preferences, but at the end of the day, like uh, you're the one doing the fan art. Right, check this out. So we've got a fresh farmer. And I think we might want to trade with them as it goes, just so they keep... Yeah, they keep their... Uh... They're tight, right? So I'll do a trade, then you're always a farmer. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to fill up your inventory with seeds. And it seems like you're picking them all up. Right, in theory, this guy's inventory is now filled up with seeds. And remember, he's a fresh villager. I really don't like the idea of leaving you out in the open, but as long as we keep it daytime and we're prompt with the other villager, we should be good. I think I can leave all this stuff here. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, assume out of curiosity, do you ever check Reddit messages? I look at Reddit like once in a blue moon. Um, actually, a little more frequently than that. I check Reddit, but I I'm not really active over there. Tempe Games, thank you so much for two months of support. Much appreciated. Toby, thank you for the uh, cheers and bits again. I look forward to seeing your fan art, by the way. Best way to, to get it to me is to uh, tweet at me. Or post at me on X. Because Elon was like, I've got to name it after you, buddy. Can't be called Twitter anymore. Jeez, what an idiot. Uh, Lanrick, thank you for the cheers and bitties, saying, what was your favourite horn from Cub? Mine was, oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, it was hard for me to pick a favourite. Yeah, I don't know. There were so many good ones. There were just, I'm really bad at giving you favourites if you ask me for a favourite. X is very good with all of his organising, says Lizzie Best. Thank you. And they call me a derp. Can you believe this? Cub's new shop is my fave, says Kaza. It's really cool. It's really cool. Woo! We got through that gap. Cheers and biddies here from Lizzie Best. Uh, biddies for villager transportation. Thank you so much. The biddies make the boats go faster, I heard. Anonymous, love your poetry, my dude. Thank you for supporting our community with some gifted subs. Oh, we should have a little animation for cheers and biddies, like uh, a bunch of them hitting me in the face or something. That's probably an animation we should have. Max Dirty, Theodore Warcog, L L Elodie MT, McMubit, and Master PH. You've been gifted subs. Be sure to say thanks in the chat. And take the time to read some of Anonymous's poetry, okay? It's really good, trust me. And they've been writing that poetry for hundreds of years. It's pretty impressive. I don't know how they do it. Okay, anyway. So far, we've been on a roll. I was expecting this to be an absolute pain in the bum. And it might still prove to be. But no. No, it's not. Okay, now we do villager number two. And we must desperately, for for our sanity and for our livelihood, sleep in the bed. Which is not set up yet. May school, my dude. My dude. Didn't you message me earlier today? Did I reply? Oh my god, I've got a feeling like I might have been busy. Thank you for 109 months. I just lost the game. Oh, we're bringing back that one today, are we? Uh, Crown Cupid, thank you ever so much for subscribing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Just checking up on that message again. Dang, dang. Uh, sleep in a bed for the zombies. Rosa Wolfie, thank you so much for gifting subs. More of them coming in here. GRock49, Shelly Marmot, Mirasol Daisy, Akibiz, it's Rich05. Y'all been gifted subs, so be sure to say thanks in that chat. We got Lizzie Best again with more cheers and biddy saying bedtime. It is bedtime. It is bedtime. And now it's morning. And now it's time for trade. Ah! Oh! 
You're making me walk over there. Oh, painful. Not really. Uh, bad at usernames123. I like that username. Thank you so much for the prime. You can't really be that bad at it if I like it. Jeez. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Just found out I sprained my ankle and I have to use crutches. So this will help me take my mind off things, says Purple Froggy. Ah, that sucks, dude. That sucks. But yeah, you'll heal up, I imagine. Before long, it'll be a thing in the past. Uh, one, two, three, four. We only needed 20, right? I think it said 20. The Sophrona says that's a fantastic username. Well, is it? Because now... Now it's not. It's literally bad at usernames. I mean, now you got to get. You now you got to make another one good at usernames. You know, what's your favourite dessert? X says good time with cat. I'm not a dessert eater, but I like my homemade ice cream. My uh, healthy milk and protein powder homemade ice cream, and uh, I eat plenty of it. Seriously, I have like three or four tubs a week. So it's becoming a bad habit almost. Oh god, I'd like the pick back. Thanks. I mean, bad habit. It's just uh, milk and protein powder. It's not too much to worry about. Oh! Oh, is you putting that in there using some seeds? No? I think that's what that just told me. No? What? Because they just leveled it up, right? There it goes again. Oh no, look! 15 seeds. They must be using this. Okay. That is, that is interesting. Oh, but do they do it when it's full up? That's really, oh, I think, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, okay, they can harvest, they can harvest. This means you could use a villager. Well, hoppers can already point into, okay, okay. This doesn't mean much. Hoppers can point into there. Right, we have to take away their workstations. This is interesting because... I need them to farm wheat. And if they can do it without a workstation, that's great. Hmm. Now I've got 19. They were definitely putting seeds in the composter. Very curious. Very curious. It's a good thing to learn. You need to prevent access to the composters using slabs. I, I feel like now is an opportunity to experiment a little bit more. Because I have an issue. Uh, let's go. I was literally going to go tear this slab out of the way. I was like, that needs to get packed away. So next experiment, while we can. Yeah, you're using it. But I don't think that's going to stop it from accessing it. Just saying. Just saying. I heard you doing things. This guy's still doing stuff. You're still doing stuff, aren't you? So 19 was our number. Now 53. Nope, that does not stop it. That is not stopping it. Also, let me... I'm, I'm just going to keep doing this because I'm paranoid. I'm extra paranoid now. Yeah, y'all y'all the fool. That's good, that's good. I remember attaching like an extra block or two here. I just don't remember which ones they were. I think that'll do though. Uh, not a crow's corpse is subscribed. Okay. Something that isn't a crow's corpse is subscribed. Interesting. I wonder what it could be. Maybe a human being. Thank you. I love the username. It's weird and wonderful. Okay. Um... Right, seeds will go back in here for now. I think we're going to leave these guys out in the open for a little bit. Should be fine. The area's lit up and stuff. We've got to move them up top. The thing is, I've had an issue with them losing interest in the workstations that are available up there. So these are permanently farmers. The ones I had before are not because I never tra traded with them. Uh, some of the same music is quite loud. It's the exact same volume it always is. Maybe it was just a, a bit more of an energetic song, something like that. Suma put trapdoors around the composter, not above. I've done that too, and it hasn't worked. So I've tried a variety of things, you see. We're probably going to need a staircase up here. Probably all the way to the roof. 
Or if I leash the LAs, I could probably open a window. Those two guys are getting fired, okay? You see, they keep losing interest in the workstation. In the middle. Let's use this key. I did try this with fence... Uh, fence... Trap doors. <laughs> All the way around. Didn't work. Switched to fence posts. Worked. But then eventually they lose interest. If they're all, if they're farmers, are they going to do their job? Is what I'm thinking. Or are we going to have the same issue here? Either way, the fact that they'll have seeds is uh, good. We don't want anything else in their inventory. But we've also learned we have to keep them away from the composter big time. So up here, we just want to leash a couple of LAs. And then we want a couple of trapdoors to sort of get in and out of the air. What was that blue thing there? Every now and then I see like the particle effects, but it's like they come through, you know, from the the water bubble stream behind it. It's really quirky. Why not trade with the monster to lock them in, says Nick Laguna. That's exactly what we've done. That's what we've done. That's why I'm asking are they going to keep it or not. Right, I don't want a villagers getting out. That's for sure. But now, I'm going to close that hole up. But that's how we'll get in and out. Right, so we've got to leash the LAs. One over here. One over there. Going to keep you all the way over the back here. Okay, now I sort of need to get these out of here, but but I might have a certain tool that will help me do that in an efficient way. I could possibly hold on to them, though, and trade them. Trade with them for something. Like, at some point, I'm just going to need some villagers. So, while I've got the things we need to uh, interact with them, I should probably do that now. I can actually run them through here, right? Oh, no, the trapdoors are in the way. Place them on the wrong height for that. I'm gonna go watch Star Wars because I've never watched it, and Scar convinced me. Said All River, you go for it. It's a classic. It's a classic. Flint and steel is useful for tool for removal. I was thinking lava bucket, but now we're gonna hold on to these guys. It'd be nice if I could lure them over here a bit. I guess, uh, I guess there's more room for... right. Oh, big mistake. Big mistake. Uh, uh, I guess that one now faces the wrong way as well, which is annoying. Looks like I could technically nudge it out of there. I don't know if that's massively fixable. Come on, don't be a butt. Don't be a butt. Just... Ah! Look at your friends. Join your friend. Oh, I never put a rail here. That explains a lot. Off you go. All right. Come on, guy. Come on. You like hanging out over here? Come on. Come on. No. No. Oh, just about. Just about. I guess I got to push you and get you all the way over there nice nice so then i gotta get them into a holding area i haven't really thought this through i think actually i think just in this room down here might not be a bad shout i could really do with an axe i could really do with an axe can you light wheat on fire Probably. Oh, I see. There's a bit of roof there. Um, so, I think I'm going to temporarily remove a stair so that we have a rail go down. Uh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Not a lot. Do more thinking. Get rid of that. Hey, then we can come down here. 
Salem, you're going to have some friends to keep you company. Yeah, okay, I don't like this nighttime business. That's not good for my villagers. Oh, the kitty's there. Look at her, says Flinty. Yes, Salem has a home. How are we doing over here? Yeah, y'all are safe. See no zombies creeping on you. That's good. Oh, almost perfect, but not. But far from it, basically. Uh, Rams Ramstein is how it's sort of spelt. Uh, I love that you're, you name the cat Salem. I have a black cat and her name is Salem. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's a really nice name. Oh, I see. You're on the chest. Uh-oh. This kind of works still. Uh, let's see what happens with you then. You're probably going to fall in that little gap and need to push out. And there we go. So, our villagers are now down here. They're kind of in an open area. So, let's not forget about them. We need to come back and sort them out now too. Everyone needs sorting out, don't they, Salem? Oh, they want this. They want that. Mm -hmm, they keep saying. Now you now you got to put off with them, buddy. Oh, is that okay, is it? Is that all right? That's good. You're a good sport. Let's go up. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know... I think the wood bits came from, like... Here? And then the rest... Jeez, what happened there? The rest of it's like this stuff. Right! The next part of the operation... Actually, could sort of use this same rail, right? We've got to... If we just bring the villagers up to here, through that gap, then we can push them in. Now, I've got to... I've got to fix that up a little bit. Honestly, I think it's just a case of replacing it. It's not complicated, is it? Now you know where I get all my seeds from, right? But we're getting bread as well. We don't want bread. Do not want that. No thanks. Yeah, so anyway, get them into here. Then we've got to have them harvest up the wheat. It's this thing in the middle, man. I don't know, like, chat. Send in some ideas on how this should be set up. I thought it would be a case of having trapdoors all the way around the sides. That didn't work, so I tried these uh, fence posts. The fact that you made a whole system with note block for your elevator... Which could have been replaced by a single button still cracks me up, says Drowsy Frog. Well, it might crack you up, but there was a good reason for it. A button is a small thing in the middle of a block to press. And with this, you get to aim at a whole block. So, you know. Mr. Funny Guy, okay. Mr. Calling Me a Derp. He put that block in the wrong place. I'll call him a derp. I've never, ever done that before, though. No one's ever placed a block in the wrong spot before. Let's, uh, let's go down here. I'm only messing around, by the way. I am only messing around. Uh, you know what? I could bring the rail over this. Well, I'll let the vines be spreading. The, the vines be spreading. Assume it never derps. Fun fact, says Drew Dude. It's all calculated and planned. It's part of a, a, a plan for world domination. I think. That sounds good, doesn't it? That sounds intelligent, vaguely. That'll fly. Okay, then we'll come over to somewhere around here and go down. And... <laughs> Let's start placing the rail, I think, is the uh, next step. Start placing the rail. More classic villager wrangling today. I haven't worked on the promenade in a while. I kind of miss working on that. I've been a little bit stuck with my storage system because it's so massive. But I kind of realized something important, which is I can get parts of it up and running. And it will be useful. So I was, I was sort of thinking the way to start might be to uh, get, like, do it in sections rather than think about it as, like, one big massive project or something 
and chip away at the little bits that you can make a difference with. What permits do you have? I have the permit permit, so I'm allowed to sell permits. No, I don't have that. I got a bunch. I don't know. Uh, hermits are insane. How do you already have so advanced just being this season in f almost three months? Well, we are uh, professional Minecrafters, apparently. So we have probably more time than the average player to get on here and play. Okay, so now we can bring the villagers in. Anyone in chat got any ideas on what to do different there, though? What's my dream permit? Uh, my dream permit would be a dream permit so I could sell people dreams. I could sell them their dreams. You know, that. Oh, I'd love to sell people their dreams. Imagine being a dream salesman, you know. What's the thing you want to do in life? Here it is, only $5.99. Terms and conditions may apply. <laughs> and do all that fast talking immediately after. You know that joke, you've heard it before. Fill villages with seeds. Hop a minecart underneath. Problem solved. I don't think so. We've got to stop them interacting with the composter. A hop a minecart underneath it doesn't stop it from interacting with it. Make everything pink. Problem solved. Yeah, that's it. Just make it all pink. Yeah. I just thought of something. Like, we don't want them getting pushed into the composter, like, through the post. I think it'll be fine here. Can I, like, place... No, i got to jump up and down. To be on the safe side, I'm going to do that. Like, realign them a little bit. Above their heads so they can't reach. That... If you if you're just randomly guessing, don't don't bother. <laughs> I'm hoping that someone who knows how these things work could explain it, as opposed to just throwing random guesses into chat. Because if they can't reach it, that's a problem, right? Like that's that's the thing that we're trying to let them do: reach it without interacting with it. And I don't know how that's done. Um. Anyway, yeah, we set everything up right. Are they going to fall through the farmland and suffocate? That shouldn't be a thing. That shouldn't be a thing at all. Right, I think the furnace minecart's going to catch up and get them in a good spot. There it goes. At some point, I could possibly break it. Not sure when the best time to do that is. Probably about now, except I'm a little too late on it. Right, so one, two, numero. Watch out, Ale, watch out. Right, then we've got to do the whole farmland thing in here. Got to restore all of that, right? Okay, uh, that means I need a hoe and some seeds. Let's, uh, let's observe what they're doing because they might start... Oh, I'll tell you what, they're not. This is all fully grown wheat. We're expecting to see them like harvest this stuff, right? They're not harvesting it. <sighs> Internet says that your composter setup should work. I would have thought so. Like, if I, if I let them get close to the composter again, they'll recognize it and start using it. But as we know, because of the seeds thing, they're going to throw some seeds in there. So we want to prevent that. Maybe their inventory is full. Yeah, it, it is full. It's deliberately full. Try to remove the trap door on top of the composter, says uh, Cybot. Give that a try. Give that a try. Yeah, that's like a hangover from the uh, old way of doing it. See, I like. I want to aim through the gap here, but there isn't actually a gap to aim through. Oh, okay. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm using my noggin. Ah, brain smarts. Hashtag.
They still ain't interested. Block on top and trapdoors around. I haven't tried that. I tried just tra trapdoors around. You can't even shoot arrows through that gap. Might be true. My design for a wheat farm has trapdoors all above the wheat so they can't pick up anything. And sort the wheat out and send the seeds back to the villagers. <laughs> nah, like, I want to stick with this type of farm. I just need the arrangement to make it work properly. X, why can't the villagers interact with the composter? I think... I think it's because of the fence post. There aren't any other composters in the area, by the way. They need to see a bed and only work at certain times of the day. Now, that's interesting. Maybe they do, but like, why did the other villagers work for so long before? The other villagers worked for quite a long time. Which is what's weird. I think I'm going to try the fence uh, f trap doors around it again. And just see. Because that, I don't know. Let's see what happens. That's the way it's supposed to work. And it did for a bit and then it stopped. There's a lot of bedrock info being spread right now. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. People just say and m may not know. Uh, let's put some of these rails away. The inventory isn't all the way there yet, but it's getting there, isn't it? Two of these are for Corallus, actually, when we head back over there. Oh, yeah, one more, one more. Top tra trap doors, but you do lose some spaces for wheat. Uh, no, you don't, because they'll be above where the wheat is. Although, maybe they don't harvest it. Anyway, let's go. I think we might also need slabs. Here's the thing. I've got a feeling they need to come over here and decide to access one of these, too. Like, what I'm anticipating. Okay, you're both in... Oh! Maybe they need to see it with their eyes or something. Maybe that's the difference we're looking for. Definitely got some particle effects going on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you just, you just mashed that up. Thanks. They're looking at it now. They weren't before. Oh, dude's doing stuff. This guy is doing things. Right, I'm going to put one in the middle. I know it's a little bit... Pointless. But it'll make me... Oh, wait, wait. You're... Oh, oh, oh. oh, I thought you were going to come and be a cheeky. In fact, they might get a little cheeky if they can get in close. Definitely got something going now. And look. Seeds are being left behind. That's... It's kind of laggy, actually. But that's perfect. I didn't set up one of these to pick up seeds. They both pick up wheat. Anyway, this seems to work. I reckon it's going to break again. That's what I'm anticipating. I, I literally reckon it will break again after a while, but at least they're, one of them is working. Right, yeah, you two do your thing over there. And it's time for me to get out of here, basically. Because you know where the LA is going to go, right? It's going to go right in here. It's going to be like, what's that? Oh, oh, off into the... Oh, look at the sun. I'll be like, can't you hear that note block? Right, the last thing we've got to do is get in there with some seeds and the hoe. And fix that up and then come out and replace that with that block. Okay. Yeah, got to fix these patches up and then we're good. And that should be all of it, I think. And now they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. And the LA is too. That's good to see.
Right. Don't fly over here. Hey. Hey. Isn't that what you like to see? They're doing their job for now. I've got a feeling at some point they'll stop again. They definitely want to get closer to the composters. But then they like give up and then they go harvest stuff. That's cool. Right, so now here we should be seeing the wheat flow in, which I think is exactly what we're seeing. Right, I think I'm going to keep like a box of seeds, but then throw the rest away. These might become useful somehow again. At some point in time. Uh-huh. Good stuff. Right. We can tidy up now and move on to the next thing. That was pretty pretty darn efficient. Like I said, though, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing breaks at some point. But a good use of our time. Nice to get that done. Yeah, let's get rid of all of this, too. Right, X, your opinion. What's the least intelligent mob in the game? The bat. <laughs> Definitely the bat. Ayusia, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate it, my dude. They always, like, fly in front of you when you're swinging your pickaxe. You're, you're down underground in a cave mining, and they're like, whoop, just fly in front of you. You might notice that there aren't many bats on Hermitcraft. We noticed that when people are playing, there's usually a very large amount of bats. And so we said, you know, this is this is a bit of drain on resources. So we made it one bat per player. And now you hardly ever see them and no one cares because they don't do anything. <laughs> Except fly in front of you. And get whacked in the face. Right. Gonna chuck a few things on the floor. Because I'm filthy like that. Uh huh. And the bread. Right. Uh, we've got everything in my backpack. Oh, including my shovel. Because now we've got to get all those tracks cleaned up. Go back over to Coralysis. And then we can move on to Sign Chaos, which is cool. Which is very, very cool. I hear a horsey. Oh, that'll be my horsey down below, won't it? Yeah, yeah we need to go up a level. Has anyone on the server had a pet Minecraft bat? If they did, that wouldn't affect the mob cap. It's not that it removes ones that already exist. It's just that it changes the mob cap for them. Hey, noise in the air. It's Matchy3107. Thank you so much, Matchy. 49 bumps! What have I missed so far? A surprisingly swift encounter with villagers. It's like... It's like I've learned a few things about how to manage them or something. So that's gone surprisingly well. Okay. I've had to do this a few times this season. But hopefully now that's permanent up there. They've been given tons of seeds. They don't seem to be interacting with those composters. I'm pretty sure at some point they're going to have an issue again. But that day is not today. Oh. Not bad. The trick there is to aim just right so you don't aim at the block down below. What's this? The sonic screeching at 3am would be very charming. Hmm. Stream recap. How to train your villagers. Training, taming. Who knows? Should we go look at the... Uh, we'll go look at the shop in a second, by the way. I had so many lovely comments. I look forward to reading more of them. Okay. Um, so coming back here, we just need to do that. Drop off the minecarts. Uh, put this like that. And those there. And that's it. Back to normal. Back to normal. I think there's a Corralis in the area. 
There is. Look at his face. Oh my god, that expression. Timeless. Timeless, isn't it? He doesn't even know. <laughs> yes, there's the shop. Where are the banners? There they are. Yeah, I think changing I think changing the banners for a little contrast might work, but then again, it almost looks like an extension of the uh, hay bales going up. But dang, I absolutely loved putting this build together. It was so cool. Th there's one thing on it that is like a bit eh, which is the andesite here. Just because like that flat space needed something, but that, it didn't really feel like they said much. But, you know, rooftops usually have some pointy mask things on them, so it kind of gets you halfway there. Uh, yeah, really, really enjoy pushing myself, but I always, I always need like a reference and having the other hermits builds here were really great as a reference. Like I was struggling with the uh, wooden build until I saw, uh, it's not used there, just up there, like the spruce and the oak go together really well. So I kind of borrowed that over here, but, uh, it's added a nice little touch to the area, I think. I think, and uh, maybe maybe we can continue in the future of more shops along here. Like, I could probably add another building on the end and attach a bit of an overtop area between the two. So something in this space. Or maybe this is the, the end of the, the line for this shopping district road that we got. <laughs> you could use the ro rooted dirt in the star, star, star. It goes really well with bricks. What's the star, 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 eh? I, I imagine we've had no sales, by the way. I forgot to announce that it was, uh, Rooted Dirt was on, on sale. I can do that right now, right? Just send a little, uh, little picture. For the hermits. Let's see. Go to the shopping channel. There we go, that's that taken care of. Bam. Another job done. <laughs> Not that that was on my list. Please use normal rails, says Ollie. Now, I, I think I might understand why. It almost looked better with normal rails. The only reason I went with these ones is because of the yellow and the red. And I was like, you know what? The other ones, the other rails look pretty decent. But I went with the yellow and the red so it matches the color scheme. Do you know what I want to do when we set this shop up properly? I want to add... And I, maybe I had the opportunity to do this with the Rooted Dirt shop and didn't think... I, oh my god, my one's selling again? What? What is going on? Wait a minute. Is that why I've got nine? They must have taken four stacks and put nine diamonds in. I wouldn't be surprised if they just uh, assumed it was one for one. Right, let me add that to my list. Yeah, I want to add in a feature where, like, you have a comparator telling you if you've made a sale or not. Right, we have fixed the wheat villages. That is awesome. I'm just looking at my other list of things to do. Uh-huh. Because sometimes... Oh, wait, I've got to add the nine diamonds to my list. Plus nine... We are up to 534 diamond sales. Wow. Not bad. I think Cleo's still in the lead. Do I have any plans for the new crafter block? I, I mean, the plans that I had have already been executed. I guess I'm going to keep doing more stuff of it, right? Like the whole uh, Loglands project is going to use more crafters. It's just I'm not going to do it all in one day, you know? Not gonna do it all in one day. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's move that over to the new shop. I forgot. Hey, another nine. Now that is sixty-four for one. Okay. I'm gonna add that to my tally. I should really probably check uh, the other one over here first too. Okay, nothing and nothing. That's fine. That's fine. Now that'll put me up to forty-three. 543 sales. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, 
Hey X, I was wondering if the mod pack you're using for the 121 blocks is available to the public. Yeah, it is. It is a public data pack. Red might stand out a little more, but I like the natural fit as is. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is it like blends in a lot more that way, which could be bad. Like contrast is good. I might, I might change it at some point. I might just change it and see how I feel, but... Uh... Right, rooted dirt. Stocked up a little bit more now, isn't it? Um, yeah, so on my list, we could do some crafting, some prep for the storage area. I could build a cactus farm over at Loglands, which I think I'd like to think about where that's going to fit in a little bit more first. We've got the storage area underground to finish off. I think we should really actually just finish that project now. Because it's dragged on a little bit. I've only been doing it on stream. And we spent two streams down there. But yeah, lately lately I've hit a bit of a weird like snag with the pace of like building up all the base here. It's, it's a weird thing, the pace of Minecraft in a, in a world, you know. Uh, where are we getting off? Here? Yeah, this looks like it. Yeah, that's it. I didn't realise how easy experimental mode was to turn on until recently. It's built into the vanilla world generation. Uh, basically, the way they're developing the game, it's like 1.21 content is inside 1.25. Or even 1.24, which we're playing on. It's just, it's just been toggled off, right? Like, the way it works is there's like a flag system where you tell it we're using the 1.21 stuff, but it's actually kind of the opposite. Like, it's telling you not to use it, really, because it's all in there. Like, when they add new features and make changes, they've got to mess around with the underlying code. When they do that, they're basically adding in the new stuff anyway, but then they're adding this, like, toggle layer where you can sort of turn it off. It just, obviously, because it's not a part of the update, they make it look the other way around. But it's basically in the game, you know. So, coming into this space, I must say, I kind of feel like it might help for this to be opened up a little bit further as you approach. Doing something with the ceiling here might be uh, of help. I think I left that torch there to remind me that it's a cool lighting option. Uh, we're, we're just rocking and rolling straight into this today, by the way. Just going to start placing blocks down and then go from there. Now, is it me? No, that's, that's properly lined up. It's properly lined up. I think I can live with that. Uh huh. I'm looking for basalt next. I have a fix for the moss farm. It's a bit slower now to be resistant to tile uh, to tile tick suppression. Says Cyber. Oh, awesome, dude. Send send it over, man. I appreciate your efforts ever so much. The farm is great. Um, I don't mind going over there and mining the cobble. It's just been a little baffling. And what's the thing that I think is the strangest is that the first problem where the waterlogged slabs became unwaterlogged hasn't ever returned. That's never happened again. I've never had to go back up there. Where are we, by the way? Like, is it actually loaded? Yeah, look at this. This area is actually loaded. Although it might be a bobby thing that I can go over here. Might not actually be loaded. Oh, it's... Oh my god. Uh, I think I know what's going on here. This is probably partially chunk loaded. At the moment. I thought I turned this off when I last left the area. Maybe I didn't. Because the silo's empty. And now that's... Ha oh my god. How did that... How did a piston end up there? Oh dear lord. Where did that piston come from? Right, it's all sticky pistons. There's pistons there. Is there like another row of pistons hidden in these blocks? What is that about? 
And it's facing upwards. What the heck? I can't remember if there's some upwards facing pistons in here, but yeah. Right. <laughs> I've been very diligent to turn this thing off when I leave the area. I guess last time I uh, I made a mistake there and left it on. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm going to need like a player detector or something. Like if the player's in the area, it can turn on type thing. Yeah, I'm definitely fine with that. I'm just... It's going in the right direction. Maybe maybe we'll... No, we'll do a little bit more of this. <laughs> so what says, wow, that's really broken. Can't fix that. It might not be as bad as it looks. Maybe we'll go over there and check it out on stream today and find out what on earth just happened. Uh, we've got some noises in the air, by the way. Uh, another JT here for 82 months. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate your continued support over the years. Very kind of you. Hope you're enjoying the stream. The way the light shines through here, I want to make it a little more deliberate. And just have those torches sort of evenly spaced. Yeah, it's nice and balanced now. Hmm. Gonna put sink in the corner there. This this just a panel here, really, isn't it? Any ideas, chat, for things here? Maybe a little bit of growth bushes. Although this this area is like wet, but kind of devoid of that. I, I actually think it might be smart to just not put something like that in. I don't know. Some sort of some sort of aquarium. No, no. Uh, not a bad idea, but we are looking to kind of wrap this thing up, right? I'm not going to go crazy with an aquarium down there. Dripstone. Okay, now you've given me an idea. Thank you, chat. I like that. Uh, do I have any dripstone here? I don't. There's plenty of it about. Okay, so... If we go into my supplies here... Yeah, we've got plenty. Let's go ahead then. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to fill it in with nothing but this. And then that's not even being used. I'll take those blocks back. I'm very conservative like that. Yeah, so not, not terribly interesting. Let's go one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. And it just needs a little something there. Maybe for that redstone torch. Up there. Do you have any slabs lying around? I hear squishy sounds. Oh, you know what that means, peeps. We've got slimes nearby. There's another project I want to uh, crack on with at some point as well. Finish that slime farm up. Yeah, okay. Let's get out the toolbox. Uh, actually, it's a crafting bench I need. Oh, which is kind of already in that area now that I think about it. Get some slabs. Put that there. Job done. In the other corner. What else could be in here, eh? What else could be in this corner? Use roots there. Ah, oh, which sorts of roots? Have we put any of these roots in? Hanging roots. I think we did, actually. No, I've missed my opportunity for hanging roots. Hmm. Where do they belong? You belong there. You'll barely be seen, but that is the point. Oh, there's a trap floor in the way, isn't there? Water thaw in the corner, maybe. We've already done our little odd water features. I'm good with that. Maybe just some solid dripstone. With uh, some of these weathered trapdoors and stuff. Going on. We still need to wax everything at some point, too. Yeah, I think I might just use like a random assortment of blocks at this point. 
Who knows? Take all of that. Don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm just throwing them down. Just throwing them down. Uh, you know what? Dirt and, and dripstone probably go together reasonably well. I don't think it needs to I don't think it needs to make that much sense at this point. Uh, and then maybe over here we'll just go with the tough. Ah! Oh, it placed it on it. I thought it was going to place it behind it. That was that was wrong. Right, we need a light source in that corner, and then some wood on the floor. There's your wood. Uh, there is a lantern. I think we need a soul lantern. Something dimmer. Light sources, please. Okay, assault. Actually, assault torch. We haven't used that hardly ever this season. Yeah, it definitely needs more to it, doesn't it? What other, like... Oh, I'll tell you what. We haven't got, like, any... Ah, oh, look. Blast furnace. Smoker. How do you make those again? Okay, I can do that, and then the blast furnace. See, I might not have any of that. Nope, I'm out. Smoker probably fits the uh, room a little better. Perhaps chains. Oh yeah, loose chain is always good. Maybe a grindstone. I think we've already put that in the room. Yeah, one of, one of the things I've got on my list of things to do on stream is just, like, fill up the ender chest with stuff. But, like, every time I go to stream, I'm like, no one wants to sit sit and watch me craft. Come on. No one wants that. Okay, I know what I'm going to do over here. Hello? Oh, there we go. Kind of, kind of looks okay, actually, in an odd way. Kind of looks all right. You just throw a few things in there, and, and it sort of gets the job done. But the light level here is too high in the middle, I think. So in order to fix that, it should be good to just pick this up. Silk touching. We be silk touching, yo. Maybe go down to about there. a little bit dimmer that's nice now for waxing the important job of waxing peeps wax and scrape it's time to wax and scrape people be lurking says may school i can hear some slimes lurking Uh, actually, I think that'll do. I think some of this was a bit more aged before as well. I guess the grates can go... What about the ones in the middle here? I think I like it like that more. Whoops, every time, every time I forget. That's most of that done then. I think I'll leave those ones as is, fully aged. But then over here, it's a whole different job, isn't it? Will this season be a world download for Bedrock too when it's over, says Wolfboy? Every season of Hermitcraft is available for download for Bedrock. Uh, we won't change that. 
Let's see. Bill's looking super awesome so far. Thank you. We've got to do the corridor, which is honestly probably going to be like the lazier bit. I'm just going to go with like a repetitive pan. Although it, it might be it might be smart to take elements of this and give it a little bit of a similar vibe, just not going super crazy on the detail. Uh, I don't have to shift click these, do I? There we go. Oh, fell off. Fell off. That I'll take. Right. That I think is pretty good. I think we've got all the blocks as well. Yeah, it doesn't look to me like we've missed anything. Other than the signs, those hanging signs, they need glow, they need other stuff. Look, we've got a little bit of something going on down here too. Still need to figure this corridor out. I think I'm actually going to make it like quite narrow. And then... Hmm. Yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. So we need some we need some oak and uh, jungle and oak, that's what we need. Look at this inventory, man. Oh pains me. Right, I'll have some some of those, some of these, some of them. Right, that should do us. Yeah, so I'm going to go like this. And then for the space in front. Like so. Then we just got to sort out this corridor. Don't know quite what it's going to look like, but we're going to keep it pretty narrow. And then that's the view. So we need to sort out those signs, didn't I say that? Ollie says the phone audio is worse, I think. It sounds pretty good on my monitor setup. But I think I think I get it when I read people's comments is that although it's got like a richer depth to it, it it's also more echoey and a bit more kind of amateurish sounding. But I've definitely read some things that have given me some ideas for experimenting with uh, the way my headset sounds again. Someone suggested that the like base gain of the headset is like really low um and i had to set it up so that it didn't peak but i've got a feeling that in doing that like maybe i turned down the wrong sort of gain somewhere and the initial gain is a little weak and therefore the uh the range is not as strong like the range of sound you can hear for it anyway i just got to Keep tweaking and trying to make it better, I think. Uh, where do we get dripstone from? This one? Okay, and I'm just going to... Everything else that I'm not certain on will just have to go somewhere. Gosh, that squishing sound needs to get sorted out. Right. Signs means dies. And glowing... We'll get here. I'm putting everything in the area we need to build next, so that's going to change. Glowing. What color should we go with? I think yellow. Or oh, actually, maybe orange. Uh, I'm going to go with yellow. Why do I have barrier blocks? <laughs> I don't have barrier blocks. That's a great question, though. They're not barrier blocks. I took the texture of it and used it. It was. I, I actually think it wasn't a great idea. I've Too often do I jump at the opportunity to use custom textures. And after doing that, I kind of realized, you know what? I should really just be using some renamed vanilla stuff here. We could do that today on stream, actually. We could change it out and get rid of it. 
I had that realization with my fortune pick as well. It's like, if I just used a diamond pick instead of a netherite pick, then I know they're different. Uh, how do we get back to where we were through here? Right, so signs. Just got to say what it is, really. I think I... Should I get rid of the uh, item frames as well? If I'm not going to get rid of them, I, I'm pretty sure I have to move them. They don't look right being so low down. Then we're going to have like the double thing here where it says it sort of says it at you twice. Maybe we just go lowercase on this. Oh my god, why can't I hit? Jeez, that was awkward. It's a bit dark in the room. Oh, I think I like the idea of it being soft. Like, that doesn't even look yellow. Oh, it is when you zoom in. Dang, that's actually... I'm not going to use the glow here. That's actually pretty good. Like, it's got, it got a mood to it, right? We can see what it is, but it will say it too. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. Here we are. Honey, uh, elevated tutorial when? Possibly on Monday. Possibly on Monday. That's my goal. I think. I was writing down some notes today about how I want to do that video. I want to make it a fun one. I hear a witch. Gunpowder. Whoops. Yeah, let's have a couple of crooked items there as well. Oh, can we fit it in? Not quite. That's all right. I'll make it. I'll make it work. Okay, last one be arrows. Oh, I see what happened there. The point at the sign. There you go. Get a little closer. You can just about read what it says. Actually quite like that. Now for the tunnel, I guess. Doesn't shift plus enter let you type on a new line? I think you just press enter to type on a new line. That's about it. Okay, let's tidy this up. Uh, in you go, in you go. All in the correct order. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Damn. And these come out of the way too. And I can hear some more squishy sounds. I hear more squishy. Hello! Cha! Gotta watch out for ones falling in your head sometimes. Whew. Yeah, there's more of them in there, I think. Okay then, right, next I'm going to switch to standing. Been sat for far too long, got a numb bum. Pin jamming, welcome to the stream. You're late, but you don't ever have to turn up to a stream at the beginning, do you? You can drop in any time you like, that's how stream works. Let me make it a little uh, brighter in this room as well. Oh, that's so much nicer. Yeah. We're going to have a sip of water, too. Numbum. Isn't that a Mojang dev? Do you mean uh, Nembom? Oh, my God. Please don't. Mama Bear 67 thank you for 16 months, by the way. Nine minutes ago, I just kind of missed that one. 
But uh, thank you so much. So the thing with this little tunnel leading up to this room is... Eventually, the slime farm is going to have to become a part of whatever goes on here. So we're going to come down to this level. I think I'm going to make it so the slimes are automatically killed. I'm pretty sure that's the way I'm going to roll there. So we'll want some sort of like interface area here where you come and pick up the slimes. I could kind of, kind of actually build that in now maybe. And then build the slime farm back out from it. Kind of a weird concept. First, we've got to figure out this tunnel. I think I'm going to do it with tough blocks and maybe have the wood on the ground too. Uh, the ceiling could have been basalt had we arranged this a little different. I think I'm going to put lamps in the ceiling. Like dim ones. Wait, why is that free? Oh yeah, because I haven't done this. Oh, that, that sounded like glow like in breaking. That was a weird sound. Hey, Jevons in chat. Hey, so here your neighbor built some really cool new builds. Lomeo. Oh, let's have a look. Let's see what Jeff's been up to. Oh, another house. By the way, Jev, um, feel free to manipulate this path however you like. I, I actually had the pink flowers going through here because that's what they had on the other side. But then I kind of felt like I wanted to take it in a different direction. So I removed it on my portion. I'd say maybe, I don't know, you could either keep it that way or maybe give it a distinction. So you, oh, I can see actually, yeah, look, you've actually incorporated this now. Forget everything that I'm saying. This has been fully incorporated. Um, embrace it. Yeah, I love this build. The start build's great. And now seeing it adapted into some smaller accompanying builds looks super cool. I love, I love uh, Logland stump in the background. It's like perfect, perfect wooden building to have just off in the backdrop. But yeah, super cool. I'm loving how it looks, man. It's very cool. And yeah, as you can see, I've got a lot of work to do over here, peeps. Like I said, I think I'm going to have to start chipping away at it a little bit at a time. I love Nembomb, says uh, MP Beans. It, when 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 I hear his name, I just hear the classical music in his uh, videos. <laughs> hear it. Yeah, he's a great guy. Awesome guy. Let's go over here and put down the ender chest so we can start to uh, get going here. Gonna need that. Okay, then it's all about fishing out some tough blocks, I think. Tough blocks be tough. Tough to find. Uh, there's some. There's some more. Oh, there we go. There's the supply. Yeah, so I got a couple of ideas. That the thing was a light source that popped into my head. Uh, kind of ran out of those copper grates. Otherwise, we could hide like crying obsidian behind it. Yeah, I think actually just hanging soul lanterns might be the way. Oh, I've literally <laughs> just about place a bunch of those and I've only got one. I've only got one. What is going on here? Redonculus. So if I put that one here, I don't think that fits. Feels like it's a little too close to the entrance there. Maybe put one there. I'll tell you what, you, I'm also going to be like a whole block higher up. It'll be like here. It's, nah, it's, it's not the right way to go, is it? I think, I think I might be wise here to get away from a little bit of neatness and just kind of maybe embrace some randomness. Otherwise, 
I think I'm going to like overthink all the dimensions and stuff. So I think I'm going to grab these blocks and just shuffle them up a lot. And then in the walls, we'll create something that fits with it. I'm not quite sure what that'll be. Oh yeah, maybe using basalt again. I have some soul lanterns in the mix. Okay. That I could do. And then for the floor, I think we're going with... Continuing with the woods, perhaps. See how far we get with that. How is my inventory full again? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Golly gosh. So, yeah. The floor is just going to be this... Uh, jumble. I think maybe what we'll do is actually transition a bit so it becomes way more oak since the wet stuff is sort of all in that area. Something like this. Maybe we'll go in and put in a few stair blocks as well at some point. Okay, then I said I wanted to like randomize uh, the roof up a little bit. Okay, let's now oh, swap out these tough blocks. Uh, those are the three actually, so. The Nine Gods, thank you so much for 98 months of support, my dude. Very much appreciate getting close to 100, which is kind of incredible. Yeah, I'm just going to go with something like this through here. Doesn't have to make much sense, but I think randomizing just takes away any of those sort of patterns that you wish to uh, duplicate. Which we all do when we play these kind of games. Weird. I want to get that symmetry all the time. Maybe we'll do something different on the walls after all. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to use walls for the walls. Funny, th funny old thing, that. Right, uh, let's get some wall blocks. What about oxidized copper bowl for a dim light source? That's a great, great suggestion. When I was selling copper earlier and, and whatnot, I completely forgot about copper bulbs and I made a note at one point to craft a bunch and I just never get round to it. Walls for walls? That's insanity. Oh, except it's only the smooth type. I wanted the bricks. No, wait, there is the bricks. There we go. Okay, so... Then, yeah, okay, let's, let's see where we get with this. I want to put the soul lantern somewhere in the mix. I don't know the way it connects to what's behind it. See, that ain't so bad, is it? Except the floor. The floor will need to be sorted out. And does it let light through? I think it does, you know. So then I have to go in here and do all of that. Oh, then you got to do the top as well. That's fine. That's fine. So then here, I think. And there. Ha. Ah, I, I think we've got it. I think we've got it now. Ooh, now, I'm, now I'm sort of wondering if we can embrace this wider tunnel here. And maybe make it taller too. Like, I kind of like this idea of you have this like little mini structure and then go into the main thing. Don't know why. Let's see what happens. Some more basalt in the mix. Hmm. 
And then that would be higher, I guess. Maybe up here we can just put mud. At the top. What do I think of the new Minecraft paint? No idea what the new Minecraft paint is. This is my first year of Hermitcraft. It's been amazingly fun. What is your favourite slash best season? Oh, every season its own little story, you know? Every season's its own little story. Season 2 for me has always been like uh, quite an inspirational one. But they're all, they're all incredible, really. Oh, mud. I was going to grab mud. I totally forgot. I think I'm going to go in a very different direction now. Like, this idea of not having a repeating pattern, but kind of like going into a bigger space from the previous one is sort of capturing my interest a little bit, I think. Like, rather than make this one of those uniform... Tunnels, you go down here, you turn perfectly. Let's, let's get away from that way of doing stuff. Let's try something different. Really different. I think I've got an idea. Well, there's our staircase, by the way. That staircase... Uh, used quite a lot. Not used so much anymore, though, now that I think about it. But that staircase has been... My way of getting up and down and the different spots, but yeah, not such a big deal anymore. Whoops. Like, what is the harm in opening up the space like this, right? It almost looks now like we're in a cave and then all of a sudden there's this like mystic little entrance to go through. that down there up the top we need to put in uh, some tough as well insta mine is great but sometimes it can be a little overpowered when you want to be like precise with stuff whoops that's a really nice transition I think It does make me think, though, that the light could be a little lower down to aid the, uh, the top. Ooh, spooky. I got an idea. This block. Cool. That's something. Does this thing still let light go for it? It used to do that. No, it doesn't anymore, does it? It's almost perfect. What if I put like glow lichen on it? So there's actually light there. Oh, now we're working with sign, aren't we? Although, I think it might be clever to have them not on the magma blocks. What do you reckon, chat? Should we go for something really unorthodox here? Try and step out of our usual habits of building. I'm starting, to, starting to picture something now. Like, um, I think I think we need another block to go with this that isn't the basalt. Yeah, something like that, and then here we'll have like slime, sort of crashing through. And then chests to pick it all up. I think we'll auto craft them into. Yeah, let's auto craft our slime into um, blocks. And then those will go into these three barrels. And then I want to make them look like they're part of a structure which also has slime blocks in it. Right. Incredibly disgusting inventory. As always, just 
Too many things here I don't need. Too many things I don't need. Okay. Um, coral. Rooted mud. Rooted mud's a good one. Rooted mud is a good one. That would probably work really well in here. Great suggestion. Out of the comfort zone is cool. It is, isn't it? It, it I, I think I'm too often I'm just like, oh, I'll do it the easy way. And now I'm like, no, let's, let's go for this. Let's give it a try. So I think I want a lot of slime blocks here, actually, like oozing out of the wall. Not just free, but then I want something like very direct with those that, that are kind of slime block like hmm lime glass I've got a feeling will play a role here the fact that I have exactly three here is interesting it's a sign it's a sign peeps uh, maybe beehives barrels and beehives hmm smokers will probably look pretty good uh, that's not the right chest is it see um three it's 12 isn't it oops yeah a bunch of smokers over here got a noise in the air it's ask nine ten here with the prime thank you ask I appreciate you. Uh, oh, that's nice. Supporting the channel, my dude. Thank you for your uh, Prime subscription. I think the trick is to use the slime blocks with little bits of lime in and around it. I think I might get away from this idea of something kind of, I don't know, green on these barrels. I think we just want to get a bunch of slime blocks and a bunch of lime sort of oozing out of the wall together. So maybe we get all of that basalt and muddy block in place first. Um, the occasional polished black stone wall might help give it a bit of shape. God, the squishing sound is driving me nuts. Some more mud in the mix. Um, some of this stone out of here. Andesite, take it away. Take it away, take it away, take it away now. Okay, and then we need some of that, obviously. Then we're going to need more lime, so we need lime dye. One, two, three, four. And what was the other thing? I said mix those together, basalt. So I got one stack of basalt. Surely there's more. No, there isn't. Fine. We've got a hypnotized in chat. Might I recommend grey glass? There's grey glass for sale in the shopping district. Everything looks better with grey glass as Hypno. Oh, Hypno, I just brought um, a shulker box of grey glass from Jevin. Because I needed that for a project. I say a shulker box, I mean two shulker boxes. Was it two shulker boxes? It was, wasn't it? We made that deal, yeah, just a minute ago. Oh, I should have remembered there's a shopping district thing. And I paid four diamonds a stack. That's ridiculous. Jevin ripped me off. Oh. Right, let's... Uh... Let's see now. I think I'm going to build the shape of this thing around this and have the slime kind of ooze onto it. I need to leave a little bit of space here for hoppers, right? If I'm going to put the hoppers in place, because I'm brain smarts, man. I think ahead. I plan. None of this has been planned, by the way. <laughs> Thought I'd mention that. So crafters will put slime blocks into here at some point like, where is my slime farm this is this is this free cam stuff is getting a bit lazy like i can't even be bothered to figure that much out yeah we got the slimes there okay anyway so at some point there'll be amazing auto crafting system back here we got it we got it it's all taken care of so now that's all going to be covered up right is the idea I think we need a little bit of depth in places. It's kind of it. I've kind of put a bit of a height limit here. I think, I, I think I'm going to take it up a block. That seems like a smart idea. 
<laughs> it feels like with every... Oh, wait, I've already got my shovel. It feels like with every step, every decision, my inventory just keeps increasing in size, but I'm not actually placing the blocks as of yet, you know? Um... Yeah, now I need those stairs. You should put the sea lanterns behind the slime blocks. I don't I don't think I want to have light coming through. I think I want it to be really quite grim. Do that. And then that's the height at which our mud is now going to be, I think. those roots as well to deal with. We could put some of the actual root blocks over the magma in the area too. And I don't think we'll have a crazy amount of magma, but we'll see where it goes. Okay, that there. This here. Not a bad shout that actually. That fits in really well. What about the magma then? Like, I think the occasional block's kind of fun. And then it's above there that we're going to put the glow like in each... How did you... How did you do that magic trick? You're over there. Over there somehow. Right. Actually, I guess that one doesn't need to be there, does it? See, it's already got a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of moodiness to it. I like it. I guess we can work with granite. Oh. That's better, isn't it? That's much better. Hey X, how's it going? Says uh, Tank. It's going all right. It's going all right. Pretty good in terms of this project, I think. Oh, the squishies. They just don't stop squishing, do they? Uh, where are we at here? Granite. One of those. Bob's your uncle. Okay. Something like that. And we're starting to now get the uh, moodier lighter in lighting in place. It's good. Yeah, very moody. Which means our uh, our glow liking is now doing most of the work, right? Okay, let's get some mud up on that ceiling. Hey, another noise in the air. It's Hot Tub Harry! Dude, I am so disappointed if you're not in a hot tub right now. I don't even want the subscription, man, if you're not in a natural hot tub. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Thank you so much. Appreciate the uh, subscription. Six months. Awesome, my dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bam. Oh, look at that. Woo. Hanging out in the darkness. Oh, that's old. That is. That gets to go away. This is this is really interesting. We can we can put more like blocks and details down here too. And now we now we want to create that sort of sense of like ooze. Uh, no, not there. Definitely there. Can I have it come like in front of the storage? That doesn't make any sense. Think like Iskal. That's what you gotta do. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we need a few more blocks in place over on this side. Some more basalt. Uh, one right there. There's like, unfortunately, not a crazy amount of depth and size to this, but it kind of works. Quality content right here, even for free. Join us watching X play stocks in the blocks in the dark, says Forgill. 
Oh, thank you. I think this is pretty good. Oh, using glass panes. That's a great suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be the miracle that we needed. Oh, we needed a miracle and we got it. A miracle, lyrical, spiritual. Um, do they connect to slime blocks? They do. Good. Oh. Oh, we've unlocked the arcane secrets. <laughs> the arcane secrets. They're mine, chat. They're mine. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Not there, though. Bit lame there. Um, another little drippy bit. Oh, so good. So good. Just needs a few drippy blo blocks. Oh, he's built it in the dark. Oh, I'm so entertained. Now you're like, now you're like, dang, X, that looks good. That looks G-O-D good. I like that. I, I almost think maybe this needs to come forward a bit more now. But then again, we got those hoppers behind it, so... I say that's pretty darn awesome. I think a few leaves could go in here. I'm now looking at this and thinking, had I seen this in my head earlier, I would be like giving it a much more interesting sense of scale, I think. Anyway, uh, it's time to do the floor, I think. I actually, I actually think this wood might be a bit naff now. Like maybe it should have traversed into something different, you know? Maybe vines can add some flat texture. A couple of vines probably wouldn't go amiss. I also think, like, with what we're doing there, we don't need a lot. Like, um, this is this is kind of like a decent amount of detail, if you like. So I'm happy with that. Um, waterlog blocks or full bees nest for drop particles. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. I think we should get some, like, uh, particle block minute... Like a block that manipulates particles. Although, I say that, the way they did the flower was pretty cool. But it'd be nice to have some more finite control, but I think making it like a technical redstone block might not actually be the way to go. You should make all the floor magma. Dang. That's crazy. That stuff might spread. That I think I could live with. That's looking pretty, pretty darn good. Let's keep an eye on that vine though. So now, now I'm looking at this and I do think this is wrong. Maybe, maybe we could go with like blackstone bricks or something. Oh, I've been putting those over here, haven't I? Not that I have a lot of blackstone to work with, nor do I really want to go and get a bunch more. Deep slate might be a better choice. Deep slate might be a better choice. Say something and then repeat it. Say something and then repeat it. Okay. Uh, just seeing if you're paying attention. Just seeing if you're paying attention. Maybe a mixture of those two. Not that two. Um, this this one. Like those and those might be a good idea. Probably it'll certainly work just in front of here. Definitely works there. Right, time to say goodbye to all this wood, I think. Would you live without it? Probably. Right, I'm gonna have a little drink of water, by the way. Good to hydrate, just a sip. Not really hydration, just uh, keeping the mouth dry or something. X, what do you think about new paintings? Personally, I think their new style doesn't fit the previous ones. Look, I can't speak for all the new paintings being done every day in the world, jeez. But, you know, like, art has to evolve, so all the artists out there doing their paintings, you know, if they just painted the Mona Lisa over and over again, it'd be pretty dull, pretty boring, wouldn't it? You know? So, at, when it comes to the new paintings and all the people painting them, you know, I say new, new is good. Lots of deep slate, lots of deep slate. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Although you've got a bit of like a stiff transition here, haven't you? Just like, ah, it comes from deep slate. Ah, I was just about to say, does it feel like there's more light here than normal? Oh, and I'll tell you what, 
There is, but we've got to put a stone block there. No, that's still not good enough. What's going on? Hmm. Thought it'd be darker than that. Yeah, that definitely looks absolutely awesome. And I think we just got to go with the basalt thing on this side. So now we need to do a material one for basalt and deep slate and a shulker box to chuck things in. That is for sure. My god, I need that storage system sooner than later, don't I? I think we're done with tough blocks too. Gonna need more mud for the ceiling. Uh, vines, I took a load of those. Light sources... Uh, gonna need a few of those back actually. Oh wow, it will fill up on glowberries. Okay. Oh my god, the squishy noises. They're still here. Yeah, that's all stuff we're using. Right, now we're looking way more organized again. Time for murder! Ah! Surprise murder. Kachar! Kachar! Sound effects, noises. Oh, the massacre continues. Poor little slimes, eh? What did they ever do to me? They made squishy noises in my ear. That's diabolical, that is. Come on, suckers. Woo! There we go. Right, lovely. Do I even remember what we need? Leafy says I'm terrible at building. Me too, man. You just gotta try, try, try and keep trying and fail and fail and fail and then keep failing until occasionally you do something that looks half, half alright. And then you learn a little something. You're like, oh, that looks half alright. Take that knowledge with you. Hey, that'll do. Salt next, wasn't it? Hey, that'll do. Right, let's see if we can get through the rest of this. Whew. Chilling in the Sumer stream is a great way to spend your lunch. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Glad you think so. Hope, uh, hope you enjoy your your feast, your lunch. Oh yeah, we got some of those smooth blocks we could uh, throw in the mix a little bit too. I kind of kind of like it like this though. It kind of works really well with just these. We need some tiles over here. That'll do, that'll do. I was supposed to get an extra ender chest as well, wasn't I? Dang it! Oh well. Oh well. Right, so I think I'm going to start by laying down the floor, if that makes sense, like, with the magma blocks. The acacia magma block is cool. So we'll lay down all of this. Whoops. It's the wrong one. Hey X, do you have any plans to graffiti impulses and beat up Cyberpunk City? I do, I do. Just kind of, uh, waiting on Rendog to, uh, return and then then I got some ideas to execute yeah this feels this feels kind of good ow and now it feels terrible I'm watching your stream because I feel lonely and you're making my day better. I'm sorry to hear you feeling lonely, buddy. That sucks. No one should feel lonely. I think the internet is making us all lonelier, to be honest. To be frank. It's uh, supposed to make us all more connected, but dang. Now we just walk around staring at our phones, not talking to each other.
That, my friends, I think is going to work a treat. Uh, then we'll fill in the edges so we can place basalt off of it. Alright. Knock away some of this over here where we're going to have more blocks. And that's kind of awesome. Gonna have to move some redstone back there eventually, but it comes all the way up to this spot. I might come back in here and put in a few like cracked tile blocks or something at some other point as well. Let's now do a pass with the uh, roots. Just space them out a bit is kind of the idea. Well, that actually goes a little closer than I uh, realized. Let's put you here. Right, then the next bunch of basalt blocks. Wait, where are the basalt blocks? Am I mad? I am mad. They're there. Ah, look, missed a bit. Disconnected with ourselves and others. Yes, there's so far. I think cut phones are one of the most catastrophic things for our development in the past few years, says Ram Jima. I totally understand that. The thing that I'm noticing is just how, how it takes you out of everything. The amount of things I go do now with other people, and it's just like, okay, okay, we're sitting here on our phones now, are we? Like, I do it a little bit, but I, I really try and minimize it. And I actually, like, will sit and just be the one who's doing nothing while everyone else looks at their phone, if that's what it comes to. Because I observe it, and I'm like, I don't want to... I want to get sucked into this, but yeah, it's like, dang, you go out with people, and at some point, it just it just becomes phones. Right. Oh, this is gorgeous little thing we've created here. I love this. Dang, I've not really looked at the game this way too much before, but like this idea of creating your own environments to be in. I can I can see how like putting a little more thought and well building into this could be really pleasurable. You know, just to uh, have a bit more of an idea of something like this before you get here. It'd really go a long ways, I think. Right, and then Juggling these blocks very cautiously, aren't I? Whoops. Could be funny to open a book when other people look at their phone. Yeah. Yeah. I try not to, like, make too much of a point about it. I just... I just try not to, like, fall into the trap. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, you know, sometimes there's young kids and they're at that age where they're just, they're such a delight and a joy to be around. But some people are just not, not experiencing it. They're just like, you know, on their phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we can, ro we can roll with that right there. Do that as well. Where is the mud ceiling? I think I need to bring the mud ceiling over at this point. I'm going to need a little bit of a, a light source now as we do this. So we can see the ceiling. There it is. I'm one of the few people who only uses their phone as a phone and to look up the weather, says Riff Raff. I, I exercise a fair bit of discipline with like how I use my phone. My problem, though, is that I still have, like, I probably have more stuff than I actually need on it that I think I'm being smart with. Like, well, I need that for this or whatever, right? Um, but I'm always conscious of using my phone. I'm always trying to be conscious of it. And I think even something like checking the weather, like, sometimes it just pops into my head, like, oh, yeah, I'm going somewhere tomorrow. What's the weather they're going to be like? 
open the phone, all of a sudden you're looking at something else, doing something else. You know what I mean? That's a blessing in disguise, that right there. Let's put in the occasional little divots in the ceiling too. Diagonal divots every now and then. Why? Just because. Subtle little something. Oh, that'll do. The phone stood no chance of winning attention when we got to watch the eclipse on Monday. I bet you some people would have recorded it with their phone. <laughs> but yeah. The eclipse uh, would have been lovely to have seen. I didn't get to see it myself, but glad there's people out there checking it out. Embrace your wolf! Thank you for the raid! Appreciate it, appreciate it. Speaking of eclipses, <laughs> who knows what I'm going to segue into with that? I know what I'm going to segue into with that one. Ah, uh, wait, what am I looking at? Oh. Right, let's go. Okay, just trying to figure out where these blocks actually go. Yeah, we'll do that. Total Eclipse of the Heart. Uh, it's almost on the right track. I don't even need to jump. Soulside Eclipse, yeah. <laughs> Music plug time. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to even bother right now. I still want to do a stream where I put on the music in the background and just talk about it again. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. Hey! Emberella, thank you ever so much for three months of support. There's an eclipse here in Australia in 2028. Come visit. Ooh, maybe, maybe. I, I want to go to Spain and Portugal in 2026 and see the eclipse that they have in there. Eclipse tourism, eh? That's a thing, I guess. Makes sense. Let's have a little bit of rock right there. Because it's dark, I feel like you can actually get away with using like the same texture a lot more. Um, they don't actually all have to stay around this size, do they? Just move it about a little bit like that. And I think even here... The other thing about this kind of building is, like, once you get into it, it's kind of it's kind of easy, like... It's kind of awesome. Got a little bit of a groove going. Yeah, this is how I want to shape up this bit. It's looking all right. So then all of that will be muds. And then we're kind of we're kind of done with this bit. Let's keep going. I feel like I should probably add a few more of these in somewhere, just a little bit higher up. Just finished a whittling project for our Christmas market. I'm carving mushrooms. Cool, cool. The eclipse for Portugal and Spain will be the 12th of the August, 2026. Nice. Oh, that'll be that'll be pretty hot, won't it? Pretty hot at that point in time. Your stream's always so relaxing, says Matthias. Thank you, thank you. Very kind of you to say that. We just, uh, we just hanging out nice and easy. Nothing too crazy going on here. Is anyone close to the face reveal? Oh, if anyone is, please let me know so I can change the number. Oh. A 
I'll tell you what, there's one thing I really want to talk about, like, when I rumble through my mind for a talky topic, but, like, I can't, because... I just don't even know where to begin with it. I've been, uh, I've been listening to this book, like a science fiction novel, and it's so good. So good. I'm listening to it like non-stop at the moment, getting totally sucked into it. But I guess what I could tell you is that um, I read the first of the three novels quite some time ago. Then it became a series on Netflix. And that got me to watch it. And like watching it again kind of brought me back to the story. But then the show went further than the book did. And I was like, oh, okay, like what's going on here? So I go look it up and it's like, oh, I read, I read like the first of three books. And I can't really remember why I didn't pick that up um, the first time around. I got a feeling like I don't remember being massively fond of it. It was like good, but it like dragged on a bit here and there or whatever. Anyway, like, now that there's, like, a Netflix show and I watched a bit of it, it sort of, like, pulled me back into to that world. I started watching, uh, yeah, Free Body Problem. That's the name of the show. I'm reading the second book now, The Dark Forest. And it is, like, it is really, this, this second book in the series is really getting me going. Like, it's ticking all the boxes for an interesting story for me. I find that, like, so many stories have familiarities and tropes and things where, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm old, you've just seen it a bunch of times before. So I've been, like, I, I have time every day when I eat to sit down and watch stuff. And usually I'll watch a TV show, like, episode by episode or whatever, but I just started watching movies again recently. And, like, every movie that I've watched has had this problem where the best bit of the movie is often like the beginning to middle. Like all the intrigue and suspense and where's this going to go. It's really interesting. And then as like it starts to twist itself to the conclusion, things tend to get like pretty predictable or a little bit like unbelievable sometimes as well. One of them I, I watched was Law Abiding Citizen. I'd not seen that one before. That's a, uh, what's his name from 300? Gerard Butler. Uh, he had a, a bit of a moment where he was getting, you know, one movie after another. So there's one of his. And it was it like the build up was fantastic. But then when you get to the point where you sort of understand what all the things are, like where all the pieces are on the chessboard, then the ending of it just becomes a little like ridiculous and a little less believable and... It's a very common thing. Anyway, with this book, like, you know, it's keeping you feeling like you're in that that sort of beginning phase still. Like, you can't see where this is going, and it's got you, like, deeply fascinated uh, with its overall trajectory. What series of books are we talking about? I forget the name of the series of them, but um, it's The Free Body Problem is the first book. The Dark Forest is the second. And then I think The Dark End is the last one. What genre of movies are you watching to have that, says to impress? Um, I because I've watched I picked out a few action movies to watch recently. I think I think it's very probably very common in action movies, but it's definitely a thing I've felt with a lot of movies. Um It happens less in drama, which is kind of like my favorite genre. Um but a lot of movies are about like, you know, that arc of start, beginning, end. You've got to set up something. And usually an element of mystery is, is a component of that. And so when that mystery is like getting laid out and you're not quite sure how everything's going to go, it's really fascinating. But then movies tend to fall into uh, a, a pretty typical set of endings, right? Like the protagonist rarely just, you know, like let's say you're watching an action movie, you know, Bruce Willis isn't just going to catch a bullet to the face at any point. But everyone he shoots at will. And, you know, and all the bad guys will be really good at shooting other people until they have to shoot Bruce Willis. Then they forget how to shoot. This is a common thing with these sorts of movies. You know? So, like, that's action. But it happens in other things too. It's, it's that moment where... 
like you can see the arc you can see the way it's going to go to the end like with law abiding citizen it's like there's no way jamie fox is going to lose here because that's not how like the movie is going to be structured it would be kind of amazing i thought if they really leaned into this idea of this guy just like terrorizing the world from a jail cell but no you know jamie fox has got to resolve the situation and all this and and so it like it hits that point where you kind of just start to know all right this is where this is going and and that's when like it loses you a little bit or at least it loses me i uh, i never really had any of the cave here kind of like come over the front and drip down much like that maybe we'll do a little bit of that here I feel like that could work yeah Back a step. Um, ow. Something like that. Oh, I never finished the ceiling. This is pretty awesome. Right, just the mud blocks to go, really, isn't it? Punch that out. Woo! Great success! Except the floor. I think the floor's a little too flat. We'll change that up. We'll change that up. Whoops. That wasn't what I was trying to do. That's why I love Pulp Fiction so much. You never know where the movie's heading next. It's been a long time since I watched Pulp Fiction. I really like that one, though. I remember enjoying that one a lot. Tarantino's not... Like, his movies aren't... Like, I'm not a big Tarantino fan, if you know what I mean. But, like, some of his movies are absolutely brilliant, top-notch. But I, I think I'm less attached to his style, like some people are that really like his stuff. So some, some of them really work for me, others not so much, but uh, Pulp Fiction was a great one. Be Your Friends is another type of fantasy movies where you never totally understand everything. It feels like you're in it reading a history book. Yeah, I think a lot of storytelling tries to give you a gratifying answer, doesn't it? it tries to bring you to like an ending and sometimes the mystery can be a little more enjoyable than that. Uh, I was just thinking it might be a good idea here to just fill up. Oh, there it is. Uh, fill up this thing with all of this leftover nonsense that we got. Uh, but one thing I do want to do is get some tiles going, some slabs even. Yep, some of these, some of them, some of those. Oh, dang it, I just made the wrong type. Redonkulous. Absolute redonkulous. Right, how much more deep slate do I have? I have this. Okay, um, so now we got... Oh, dang it, I made too many. We've got tiles and stairs. And the squishy no noises are still pretty unbearable. Yeah, definitely need a little bit of that going on, don't we? do this will do Yep, 
Well, it looks a little bit silly, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's a bit awkward to walk over, but it works. Yeah, I think I'll take that. I think I'll take that. Maybe maybe also throw in just a couple of... Uh... Well, that's actually like an awkward spot to put it, because then you got to do the blocks below. Take a couple of lone ones near the edges. And then I think we're good. Uh, what did I just say a second ago? Do it like that. There we go. We'll cover it up. Right, what did you think of all that building back there, chat? Was it good? Was it bad? Does it make you puke? Are you never going to watch a video again? <laughs> Amazing. Fun. It looks good. It was good. It was good. It was good. But is it still good as of this moment right now? We just don't know. Uh, I'm only messing around. I'm just saying stupid stuff. Right, let's go over here. Okay. In there. Uh, what about mud? Where does mud go? Dang. Mud going like. Oh, it goes in here. Along with dirt. I feel like those muddy mangrove roots. I think they're in this one. Yeah, there you go. So they've got a home. Glow lichen was in there. As were magma blocks. Tools. Yeah, she's almost bearable. It's almost bearable. Oh, there was already some of those, was there? Oh, okay. <laughs> trying to trying to just squeeze it all in, aren't I? But whatever. Um, all right, I think we just got to break this down now and deal with it. Uh, I know it will never happen, but how crazy would Hermitcraft be with chisel and bits? I think I think chisel and bits might not help. I think it might be too tedious. I played with chisel and bits, and the problem is, yeah, you can do all this detail, but it's an absolute time sink. That's the big problem with it. So, like, chisel and bits on Hermitcraft might mean less stuff gets done. Might literally mean that. Peeps are saying it's laggy. I guess if you don't have the right optimization mods. Because uh, if you're culling faces, it shouldn't really matter too much. Oh, did I throw away any basalt? No, not all of it. Um, there's one other thing I forgot about this. Oh, that's not where you go, is it? Uh, the thing that I forgot is that this isn't a proper stop. <laughs> Our proper stop is down there, unfortunately. Ah. And we've got details and stuff here. Ugh. Don't know if my inventory can handle this. We might need some redstone. Need an axe. Let's go see what we can do. Tell you what, those squishies, man. Those squishies! Stop squishing! Oh! Oh! Oof! Dreaming Melody says, what are you building? Kind of nothing now. We're not building anything now. We've done building for today. We're done with that. Who's online, Etho and me? Etho's probably caved up his area if he's there. Because we're getting some good drops from these slimes. Eat the squishies, yeah. Eat the squishies. So this is... I, I don't really think I need to memorize too much here. That can go there. Enderpearl, please. Thank you. So we want the slime block... Uh, sorry, the note block at that level. 
Um, note block observer. Isn't there a second note block? Yeah. Right, and the observer face will be away from me, so it'll be there. Okay, uh, yeah. Observe, observe. Now I have to go down below. Like that. No, that's not right, is it? Yeah, you're facing the wrong way. I, I needed to stay up here, basically. Okay. Um, I think you have one there and then one over there. Repeater. Like that. Ah, and then we need this. Thank you. Oh, oh, I made it up. Now, can I guess the right height? I think. Goes up. It, go it goes to that block, so you want it there. But, I think actually... Yeah, you need to place it from the other side. You can also have it higher up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It, got it went to the corner. That's hilarious. Right. That's actually hilarious. I think I might I think I might close up these other entrances too. So we can come straight to this one. Yeah, so I want to have a block there. And then if I put it at that height, it gives me a little extra space to drop out. So like now, although I'm not actually trying to drop out. Well, actually, yeah, I come up from down below. And now when I go forward, I have more space to fall down. That's the reasoning. It looks to me almost like I should just have more basalt up there. Uh, I think I think that works, actually. I think that works, yeah. The only thing is when you... Coming down and you hug the wall, you hit this. So, get rid of the one in the middle, actually. Leave it like that. I think that works. I think that works. Why did I get that? Because I needed my axe. You know what they say. Job's done. What is a derp button, says beer friends. So whenever I do a derp, I have a button that I can press. And then all the little derp fiends that are in my chat, they all go, Oh, he did a derp. Oh. I'll get my little derpamine fix for the day. Oh, jeez, I've been shaking all day long. I've wanted that derp fix. I call him a derp all day long. He never gives it to me. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful stuff. Got a thumbnail? Got a thumbnail. Where's Jobs done from? Why do I recognise that? Jobs done. Yes, my lord. What is it? Uh, yeah, let's fill in those spots on the way down as well. Woo! So, this one... Where does this go? I'm going to be lazy. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. That was a temporary one. Uh, where are we going to go? Uh! Oh, sticky, sticky, slow sticky down. And we can fill it in. Nice. Nice. Anyway, uh, I guess we go to... Oh, one more. Go down slow like that. Can't hold shift, though, to, like, stop, can you? There's no way to just hang here for a little bit. Ah, that's the way you do it. Right, this one... This goes over here, so we don't need this. You know what this is. You know what that is. Because you're smart, because you're intelligent, because you're paying attention. You're all of those things, chat. Don't let anyone ever tell you anything else. Got strangely passionate then, for a second. Then there's that, and then there's the bit below it. Ah! I fell. Dang it. Gotta go back up now. Gotta go back up. What are we talking about again, says Heart Gamer? I don't know. 
I just stream and talk non-stop. Stream of consciousness. So yeah, I guess accessing my slime farm now from here. I mean, I don't really need to do it that much right now. When I get around to building a proper slime farm, that'll probably take care of itself. Ugh, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to fill this in for now. Um, actually, maybe not, because it's kind of next on the agenda, like the slime farm. Plus, we only need to drop down to here, right? And then, bam, look at that. Oh, what is this place? Pick up your slime drops. Pick up your other mob farm drops. How much bones have I got out of this thing? <laughs> I was just about to say, doesn't it fill up from this side first? No, it doesn't. It fills up from that side first. Hey, assume I've been trying to reach 10 followers and I was wondering if you could help me do that. Probably not, man. Like, uh... People don't really like being told, hey, go follow this person because they're trying to get followers. Right? You've got to do something that convinces people to follow you. Right? Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong place. Oh! I hope these guys are going to be safe. I'm pretty sure... Actually, zombies some sometimes wander up from down there up here. Let's keep you two safe by making it daytime. I don't have a bed in my base anymore. Am I above the storage... Yes, I'm... Oh, God. I'm trouble navigating my own base, can you believe it? I'm above the storage system. Okay. Once again... The chess monsters expand. The disorganization grows. The horror of it all. Somewhere I had a bunch of beds. <laughs> hey, that didn't take me long. I knew where it was. I knew where it was. Right. I don't think there's anyone else on Hermitcraft who's streaming. You know, because Efo only streams on every day of the week except the first day. Oh, that e-phone is 24-hour streaming. It's crazy, but he takes first days off, so I don't think uh, I don't think e is streaming right now. So it'll probably be a random channel today. Um, peeps, before you head out of here, if you'd be so kind as to check out my music, Soulside Eclipse, that would be amazing. It's on Apple, it's on YouTube, it's on Bandcamp, it's on Spotify. Soulside Eclipse. Have a little search. If you're listening, just flick over to the stream. It's on the screen for you be awesome if you'd uh, check out my music if you haven't done so before but yeah we're at the end of our stream time uh today i think i'm gonna go raid a random minecraft channel let's just scroll down 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 to the depths of the minecraft community um one thing i've got to remember to do is look for like english streamer here you go. Right, sending you to a random channel, peeps. I hope you enjoy what you find. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it from me. Thank you for hanging out today. I might stream again tomorrow, but I think it's unlikely. Probably Sunday will be my next one. Anyway, take care. Have a great rest of your day.